As a teacher of pranayama yoga deep breathing techniques for over a decade, I am regularly asked about a man named Wim Hof and the breathwork practice he has labeled the Wim Hof Method. This video is a response to this constant question I am asked, is intended to elucidate my position on the matter, and not meant as an attack on Mr. Hoff, who I appreciate for bringing widespread attention to the importance of proper breathing. Wim Hof has shown that through prolonged breathwork practice, many seemingly superhuman feats such as extreme cold resistance and rapid healing of illnesses is possible. The main issue I have with what I call the Wim Hof mouth breathing hyperventilation technique is that he has essentially rebranded a less effective version of the pranayama yoga breath of fire and given it a new title after his own name, calling it the Wim Hof method. To begin with, there are many beneficial breathing techniques known and taught by ancient yogis for thousands of years, most of them focusing on slow, full, deep inhales through the nose and exhales through the mouth. Wim Hof focuses on only one such technique, the breath of fire, and irresponsibly tells everyone to breathe through their mouth. Fully in. Let him go. <sighs> through they, the mouth, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Mouth, nose, doesn't matter. Whatever you feel. <sighs> I do it like this. This is absolutely not beneficial for your health and lungs long term. Yogi Ramasharaka, in The Science of Breath, wrote, The organs of respiration have their only protective apparatus, filter, or dust catcher in the nostrils. When the breath is taken through the mouth, there is nothing from mouth to lungs to strain the air, or to catch the dust and other foreign matter in the air. Moreover, such incorrect breathing admits cold air to the organs thereby injuring them. Inflammation of the respiratory organs often results from inhalation of cold air through the mouth. The man who breathes through the mouth at night always awakens with a parched feeling in the mouth and a dryness in the throat. He is violating one of nature's laws and is sowing the seeds of disease. On the other hand, the nostrils and nasal passages show evidence of the careful design of nature in this respect. The nostrils are two narrow channels containing numerous bristly hairs which serve the purpose of a filter or sieve to strain the air of its impurities, etc., which are expelled when the breath is exhaled. Not only do the nostrils serve this important purpose, but they also perform an important function in warming the air inhaled. The long, narrow, winding nostrils are filled with warm mucous membrane, which, coming in contact with the inhaled air, warms it so that it can do no damage to the delicate organs of the throat or to the lungs. Mouth breathing has been proven to increase your risk of contracting communicable diseases as well as worsening symptoms of pre-existing conditions, and in children has been proven to cause crooked teeth, facial deformities, and poor growth. Wim Hof should be telling people to always breathe through their nose except during extreme situations, but instead I have heard him irresponsibly say on many occasions that it, quote, doesn't matter as long as you get the oxygen in. Secondly, Mr. Hoff should have the humility and reverence to refer people to the yogic breath of fire and the thousands of years old discipline of pranayama, rather than rebranding it the Wim Hof method and acting like he just came up with the science and method himself, when yogis have been achieving the same feats and healing as he has for thousands of years before he started yelling, breathe motherfucker, at everyone, and propagating his mouth-breathing hyperventilation method. Lastly, I call it a hyperventilation breath, because the breath of fire, or Wim Hof method, is just that, a short, rapid, forceful breathing technique meant to increase internal body temperature for the purpose of burning off toxins and increased cold resistance. This breath has a very specific purpose and is not meant for everyday practice, especially not when inhaling through the mouth. The actual ancient pranayama yoga breathwork techniques which are meant for everyday practice involve slow, deep, intentional nasal inhalations, filling your entire lung capacity, holding the oxygen long enough to suck out the sustenance, then slowly and fully expelling the resulting carbon dioxide orally. To learn exactly how and why you should practice proper, effective deep breathing, completely free, please follow the link in the description box to the article and video series entitled, The Most Important Thing in Your Life. Thank you.